All right. Uh, this is uh, J-Man here with Sean and Steve. We're going to be talking about the fall. There's no way Star Trek was the best, and now it's pretty ass. So, um, or at least the new stuff is ass. Um, I don't know. How do you want to? How do you want to start this? Okay. So, what is there any Star Trek that we don't like before J.J. Abrams? kind of, and Kurt's men and that, those guys took over, like, so let's go, like, original, does everyone like the original series, pretty much? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right, okay, yeah. Next Gen, I like Next Gen. Yeah. Yeah. Deep Space Nine, I love Deep Space Nine. Yeah. Yeah, Sean, DS9. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't like, now hold on for a second. <laughs> uh -oh. So I, I like, what? I, I liked uh, Deep Space Nine enough. I watched season one. I didn't like it enough to watch the rest of it. And I know it got more epic after that. I've never doubled back to it. Um, um, I love Deep Space Nine. It, it's I, a I'm, totally different show. Season one and two is totally different than the rest of it. It's, it's still, it got a little bit war heavy. Um, but yeah, even with that, it wasn't as... That's where the real story and drama was. And that's not what I saw when I watched it when it first came out. I, I don't know. I love every, I've seen Deep Space Nine about four times over. I love yeah. Deep Space Nine. It's, it's my wife's, it's Rashmi's favorite. Uh, yeah, that and original series are her two favorites. But okay, so Deep Space Nine, different than Roddenberry's kind of vision, but not out, out of the realm of possibilities for the world that was established by Next Gen. Can we? I, I think it's found more love after. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's for um, sure. Okay, and then Voyager, it's basically lost in space, but still, I still thought it was good. Like, it's lukewarm. It's lukewarm Star Trek. It's it's yeah. um at the time I remember people being like really, but they'd watch it. You know, it's like yeah, it's a kind of a shoulder shrugging thing. Um, there's there's you know. good episodes. There, I I've yeah. seen it. I've seen it once over, or maybe twice. Um, I like it. Yeah. Right. I think I think okay. I think my point though is that like back then these were the tense things. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Oh, Voyager now is like the Lawrence of Arabia of, 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 of Star Trek or whatever. Like old friend now, yeah. Yeah, like but anyways, okay. And then Enterprise is where I first put my hand up and said, "Whoa, I don't want to go back to the past." Mm. Um, I've seen Enterprise twice over. Um, and I own all of these things and, um, I did appreciate it more the second time around, but, um, they explained the Klingon thing, you know, okay, whatever. I don't like that. They felt that they had to do all this, which is why I don't like prequels either in star Wars in star Trek. They haven't really mm -hmm. done it in doctor who, but they have rewritten the doctor's history, which we can talk about on another show. If you want to, that, that was garbage too, but Enterprise wasn't bad television. I just didn't like the point of it going back and trying to tell the beginnings. Like I got it, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. So it's I not. Think like that, I think I think what killed that series was the um the whole uh, warping of time and stuff with that yes. with that um that that council of uh, crazy aliens and stuff. Yeah. Uh, that 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 I think killed it. For me, I know they brought everything back, and so the last season was just regular Star Trek, which was great, but it was way too late. Yeah, it's still it's still fine. Like, okay, yeah. and then and then it's we had a break. Yeah, <laughs> and, then, and then and then we got the JJ stuff. Now I know. So Sean, you haven't seen all Deep Space Nine. Steve, you haven't seen all of everything. Right. Well, we didn't really get a break. We we had we had the movies too. Correct. Um, correct. They're right. up and down. And, yeah. yeah. So. To me, the, the last two I didn't like. I didn't like uh, Insurrection. I didn't like um, God. Nemesis. I can't remember the last one. Nemesis. 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 Yeah, they're uh, sort of forgettable. I don't like the moral dilemma of Insurrection. It doesn't make sense to me. Um, and uh, and um, Nemesis. I can't remember what. Ha There's a clone of Picard who has fuller lips and looks different. And there's like. I don't know. It's stupidness, but um, and then that, that's what killed the movies up to that point. Uh, no. The movies like five is the tense one, um, but 
But five is, has has aged. I mean, it's aged well in, in insofar as there there are great moments in it. Um, like I I like uh, flashing back to everyone's origins. That's cool. Mm. Um, but uh, but the Robo Warrior boat stuff is stupid as ass. But, well, okay, <laughs> we're just just really quickly. I like one, yeah. two, three, four, five, six. I don't care. Five is the weakest one. Doesn't mean shit. I still think it's awesome. It's the classic guys together. Them singing Kumbaya. I will I will fight people in the octagon. I like <laughs> that part. It's what buddy, they're friends, man. These yeah. people are friends. They've gone through everything together. It's like this is this is like I, this is a family, you know? And then I mm-hmm. felt like I was with that family. And I didn't watch five for the longest time because everyone told me it was shit. Uh, and then I'm like, it's fine. I don't, you know, there's some, I, there's some things that you're like, well, you know, I don't like this or that, but it's not like garbage. I'm like, it was fine. Th- th- and then after that, they're okay. I like insurrection um, because I do like the moral dilemma thing. Um, but I feel that it's like a Star Trek episode that's just longer. So yeah. I like insurrection. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is it, is it a great Star Trek episode that's longer? Well, no, but it's not a bad one. It's fine. It's it, it's in the realm of next gen ish things. Yeah. yeah, Nemesis is a bit of a fail because they try to turn into some action sci fi series, and the Romulans, yeah. the Romulans are my absolute like favorite. Like I would, I would be a Romulan. They, I just love the Romulans. They're so good. <laughs> They're sneaky little shits, fucking yeah. cloaking devices and all that. Like them cloning. I just rewatched. I just I just rewatched the um the the first episode of the Romulans where um uh the guy who eventually became um Sarek. uh Spock's dad yeah he he he's the 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 main guy in that it's awesome man it's so it's like, good it's so sneaky and cool man yeah and and they're like what's this like they didn't know what a cloaking device was yeah, yeah. 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 And then he's like he goes <laughs> he's like perhaps in another time we could yeah we be, be friends we could yeah. be friends and you're like yeah. <laughs> okay so okay. So Nemesis, yeah, it's wonky. Then we get to the JJ ones. Now, here's where all of us have seen these. Now, we, we yep. went to go see the first one in the theater, um, yep. and it was horrendous garbage. And like, and then, two we didn't see. And, and then we didn't see the rest in the theater because we learned our lesson. Um, <laughs> yeah. But I, like, I was surprised at how horrendously garbage and awful it was. And, and, and it ruined the Romulans because, the, yeah. and I was especially hurt because. Like, basically, Spock is, like, one of my favorite fictional characters in any form of anything. Captain Kirk is my second favorite Star Trek character, also one of my favorite characters. And the Romulans are my favorite aliens uh, in Star Mm -hmm. Trek. And that movie ruined them all. And and it's, like, the only person who, who looked okay was McCoy. And that's because Carl Urban is, like, awesome. Yeah. And Sean, I know McCoy's your guy. So he was the best. Everyone else, the actors aren't bad, but the way they did the characters was awful. Yeah. Like yeah. awful. And let me just say, Carl, 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 yeah. Yeah. Carl, is it Carl Urban? Is that, that's the guy? Carl right? Urban Carl is, Urban, is yeah. McCoy. Carl Urban, he looked like a guy who got the memo and no one else did. It's like he looks like he's. He he turned up to play. He's like, okay, I got my A game on. It's like I studied this character. I studied this actor. It's like, uh, and what would this character do? And he came he came for the show. And everyone else just did their own thing. It's so weird looking. It's you know, very he's weird. Perfect. He's perfect. perfect. He's, yeah. I, it's, it's amazing. Everyone else is like, I never warmed up to um, Pike's. Uh, um, is that what, 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 Chris Pine? I never uh, warmed oh, up fine. to him as uh, Kirk. He just, he, he's nothing, he doesn't channel um, William Shatner at all. It's just, and I know a lot of people, it, it's tricky because there's so many different um, like impressions that are comedic. And so if you try to channel uh, William Shatner, you'll uh, end up looking like you're on an SNL sketch perhaps. Right. But, um, but he t- looks too much like a kid. Um, in all the movies that he was in, the, the three of them, he doesn't seem like he's he's Kirk at all. You know, he never struck me as a leader, right? Like Kirk to me he is still the captain of the Enterprise, right? He's still the guy who leads it. He never struck me as a leader. He looked like some guy who managed to get on the Enterprise, and they just decided to give him the captainship. Like he never struck me. I think they tried to make it like 
oh, he's an innovator or he doesn't play by the rules mm-hmm. and that's what we need or stuff like that. Like, yeah, but he never struck me. Like at the end of the day, the captain needs order, right? Like he needs to be able to control the crew. It never struck me that he did. And Spock is going wild through the entire <laughs> thing. Like yeah. Spike, Spock is literally the equivalent. I, I literally think he's the equivalent of like a 13 year old girl. I know. He's got all these emotions and he's like, He's fighting with people. He's making out for her. And I'm like, I'm not a Star Trek master, but I know the basics. I know Spock doesn't do that, right? No. Yeah. No. Your so, her so, showed yeah, a little bit of interest in him in a couple in of... In the show. Yeah. yeah. In the beginning right. of the show, but that's because they didn't nail down the characters right. yet. Right. Yeah. Right, right. This is... This is and, yeah. and, and so later on, they did. Yeah. So they didn't nail down the characters yet, and that's what they took re- inspiration from. Well, because, because Kurtz, yeah, Kurtzman and JJ, who are Star Trek fans, I don't know what kind of fans they are, because I would never want to ruin Spock. Um, yeah, what did they do? Watch like three episodes and be like, yeah, yeah we, we remember, we got this. Yeah, your hero likes him. It's like, no. Um, no. Like, literally, Kirk and Spock, who would die for each other, and, 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 and even, you know what, McCoy and Spock were always at, at like opposites and they would die for each other. They love yeah. each other. And it's like, how dare you make this garbage movie and ruin these people's characters? It's just, uh, it's very offensive. And, and people, well, the, Star, the Star Wars fans are angry about Star Wars. I'm not angry. Look, Star Wars, it's like, it's a fun, you know, you watch your classic movies, you're good. We're talking about ruining the relationship of characters that are yeah. super important. They're, you know, like, I, I mean, oh God, I don't know what to tell you. That movie is awful. It's yeah. Awful. So, Star Trek, yeah, Star Trek came, um, like the new Star Trek, uh, came around the beginning of uh, this whole dismantling of, uh, of former franchises um, for the sake of making something new. It, like Superman Returns, Mm, um right. this you know th- th- there's a lot there's a lot of these kinds of examples and it's kind of weird because um it's very lazy writing so what what happens uh, you know spoilers if you've never seen it don't see it but um mm. in the movie of course uh um what's his, the main the main bad guy comes um back in time from the future uh where um where romulus is destroyed and um and so when he comes back in time, he destroys the ship that uh, Kirk's dad is on, uh, which uh, apparently, I guess, didn't happen uh, in, in the Prime universe. And so that sets off a chain of events where the, the writers claim that they can do anything. But it doesn't yeah. make any sense. Does that mean that Kirk's dad is the center of the universe? That's stupidness. And so... Um, in the yeah. in the movie, he then sits around. I think there's a cut scene where where um, Klingons uh, like capture him or something like that, and I guess he escapes 20 years later or something like that. I don't know something like that. But anyways, he sits around and then he destroys Vulcan um, with uh, with um, uh, Kirk looking on. Uh, not Kirk, sorry, Spock looking on from like a a moon or something like that, and the writers claim that they can now do anything they want, but all they did was just dismantle things and make things less and, and make the universe smaller. And then from there, didn't really do much with it. In the second movie, they mm. do a, a con retread. And it's like, well, I thought you said you can do anything. All you did was just make Khan's uh, character even more confusing. You yeah. know, it doesn't make any sense. And and retread um, the end of part two, like the real Star Trek Wrath of Khan, in your part two and then in the third one it's just a star trek in a blender it's just a bunch of like star trek tropes just mixed around uh kirk is riding a dirt bike uh there's a a villain that turns spoilers there's a villain that turns out to be um a spurred uh, um a federation guy Mm. and like you've seen a million times Mm. um there's no real moral dilemma till the last maybe 10 minutes and then everyone shrugs their shoulders and kills the bad guy um it's really stupid and that's there we can do anything it it didn't make any sense and i think that's supposed to dovetail into um discovery anything goes so they have all this this um (laughs) Because um, that's not the prime universe. That's the no, that's dis- the Kelvin universe. No, right? Discovery is prime universe. No, what? No, yeah. Yes, yes. Discovery is prime universe. Hundred. 
I'm I'm 100 on that. I've had this discussion with others. Double 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 check, Google it while we're talking if you want. It <laughs> should be Golden because it, um, all the technology doesn't make any sense. I know it's a reinvention of what we know now of technology, but what that should have been, all technology on that show is, it, um, makes a lot of sense and is a perfect fit for 20, 30 years hence from the next generation. That would have been perfect. And you know what? Discovery would have um, been neat, like without all the Spock stuff and all that stuff, um, as a sort of like, um, as a sort of exploration of like the perfect universe that Roddenberry wanted sort of deteriorating with time and, and why is that sort of thing? Because everyone's all rude and, and nasty to each other and stuff. And everyone's just like, you know, just, just angry. But I, I'm surprised that's prime universe. Yeah, it it's is. It's so different. It is. And, and, and um, huh. what's the, what, not the cartoon, but what's the other one that's coming? Oh, Picard. Picard it's is also awesome. prime universe. That's prime, uh, obviously, yeah. because it's Picard. Now, but, I mean, but cartoon is prime universe. Sorry? What's that? What, did you say no, something? No, I said the cartoon is Prime Universe. Like the new one is Prime Universe. Oh, okay. The, yeah. the new cartoon? Lower it, Decks? Yeah. That looks yeah, completely yeah. awful. And again, it's like, it's supposed to be funny. It's like, ooh, the Lower Decks. Well, I wasn't aware of a class system in the Enterprise. Like, yeah. Like everyone was treated equally and everyone was treated with respect. I just well, watched. There's, I've, I've been there's watching, an episode called Lower Decks, though. I know. And yes, it, I know. And, they, uh, and, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, and yeah. those people weren't a bunch of, you know, morons. No. But yeah. I just watched the one with Barkley where they introduced Barkley. Um, and he's, uh, what's his name from A Team? Murdoch, my best guy from A Team. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Barkley. Uh, Murdoch, yeah. From, Murdoch from A Team. So anyways, and he's like shy and whatever. And they kind of, because it's humans, they kind of like, they call him, he's his Barkley, but they call him Broccoli, you know. And then, and the second the captain hears, he's like, why you call him Broccoli? Oh, it's just like a funny thing. And he's like, well, stop it now. It's like, okay. And then they're like, done. And they're like, yeah, we're not doing that anymore. That's bullshit. It's like, yeah, they don't treat people like that. And there's so many inconsistencies in that cartoon anyway. There's like a phaser that they, that they fire. You can't fire a phaser on the ship or whatever no, it's no. like yeah. even if you turn one on it automatically like sensors it's like sir there's a phaser that's been activated unauthorized phaser use like it's just so dumb <laughs> and, and, and it's like it's insulting your intelligence and and, and like kurtzman and jj they don't know anything about star trek i don't care about gene ronberry's vision i care about it but i mean deep space nine was not his vision yeah but it's a it's like a competent science fiction television program that I can watch and be like, yeah. yes, this could take place in the universe of Star Trek. I'm watching Into Darkness or whatever, and like Spock is choke slamming or smashing whatever uh con uh into the into this into this like thing. And I'm like, what the hell is going on here? This is not a John <laughs> Woo movie. It's it's absolutely awful. I never saw a uh, short trek. So is that supposed to be in the Pike um, Enterprise? Um, or I've got it over here. I haven't looked. I, it's literally still in the wrapping. Um, yeah. But no, it's. I think it's Discovery. So it's like Pike stuff. So this new thing, what's oh uh, not Dis what, not Picard? What's the next thing that's coming out? Oh, boldly go. No. What's it called? Yeah, boldly go is supposed to be Pike, right? No. Um, Strange new world. Strange. No. Yes. Brave. No. Strange Sorry. New Worlds. Yeah. Strange New World. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah that's, that's going to be Pike. Pike. Right? Yeah. Now, that's going to be regular Star Trek. Whatever. This is like, this is Michael Bay, who has become one of the greatest people ever. Optimus Prime does not have lips. <laughs> and then, because like Optimus Prime had a mouth and people were like, this is garbage. Yeah. And then, and then yeah. literally, he's like, no, he doesn't have them. And then the movie comes out and he has them. Well, the next yeah. Transformers movie will be more like Transformers. No. No. No, no. no. The, the next one will be more. No. No. No, the next one. No. The next one. No. No. Okay, Bumblebee. Bumblebee will be more like Transformers. Yeah, the first 10 minutes. And then, yeah. it's, and then, it's, and then it's the same crap again. Yeah. Like, I haven't watched it yet, so I don't know for sure. But No, that's, that's exactly what it is. It is. The first it 10 is. minutes yeah. is Cybertron yeah. and looks cool. And then, it's, and then it's the same bowl. It might not be as absolutely offensive as the other yeah. ones were, where you literally can't look at the screen half the time. Like, I think it was Transformers <laughs> 2. 
I can't even watch the screen. And I'm just like, oh God, I can't. <laughs> it's like Transformers three, three and four are like somewhat tolerable, and then Transformers yeah. five is literally five hours. Every time they they make a new Transformers movie, whatever part they're on, they they add a one hour to it. <laughs> it's like, oh my God, stop this movie. Um, okay, so the fall of it is just that it, it went to the wrong hands. They're scared. Yeah. They're scared to 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 show the numbers. Like I don't see any ratings for any of these shows. Like we see the money that that Star Wars makes, and then Solo doesn't make that money. Like what what what's going on with this Star Trek? Are people because some people really like it, and we know a couple. Mm -hmm. We're not going to name the people, but I know two people who we worked with at Rogers. Him and his brother. Um, oh wow! Like they like it. Yeah. And I'm thinking, are you watching the same thing I'm watching? I know, but they don't. Yeah, I guess like for newer generations, they might like it. I mean, I wouldn't say that they were like big fans of the original series or something. No, 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 um, no. You're thinking of the wrong people, Sean. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Okay, other people. Yeah, okay. Yes. I, I get you. <laughs> Our friend and Steve is, friend, is friends with him as well. They, they're brothers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, well, he likes Picard, too. I know. He, they, he likes Picard. And everyone and hates like, Picard. Really? I mean, spoilers for Picard, they turn him into an android at the end. And, oh, and, wow. And, they key, and he's an, he dies, and then he becomes an android. But they, they left him the same age. They left him the same, like, he's yeah. like, well, you'll still age and die kind of normally, and, and you won't be faster or stronger or better. It's like, uh, this is not the $6 million man. This is the three cents man. You made me the same. <laughs> you know, instead of making him fast, bigger, better, faster, stronger, whatever, it's same, same, same. <laughs> Without okay. the budget. So why would you do that? Like, oh my God, it's so embarrassing. I think, I think like to the original point, they didn't, they wanted the characters. They wanted the name Star Trek. Yeah. They did not want to make Star Trek, right? Like that to me is, is what it all comes down to. Because they're like, well, we want to do things differently, right? And I'm blaming the first film for starting all this. So, so they, they're like, we don't, you know, we want to do things differently. We just said Deep Space Nine did things differently. Voyager did things differently. Next Generation did things differently. We didn't have the same characters, right? You, you made yeah. new ones, but it was still in the Star Trek universe. They just yeah. didn't want to do anything with Star Trek. <laughs> anything. I think, I was think there a thing, they, Sean, where they had to change 25% or something? There was something where, I'm not sure if this is a TV thing or a, or a movie thing, where they didn't have the full full rights to mm. literally recreate everything. They had to change the ship by 25%. They had to change the outfits mm -hmm. by a percentage. Yeah, so it could be Bad Robot. So yes. uh, Bad Robot would, would pocket most of the money at the merchandise. And the thing too is, it, uh, apparently, I guess, uh, the rumor is in the contract for all of this, Bad Robot pretty much owns uh, Star Trek right now. So it, it is almost impossible to make regular Star Trek. It has to be in the vein they want. Um, I know there was a rumor recently that um, CBS was trying to sell off Star Trek. Um, I didn't even know CBS was, was part of this anymore because TNG was syndicated and so was all the other TNG um, type shows yeah, like, like yeah, DC's yeah. 9 and Voyager. Um, Gene Roddenberry was like, screw doing network television. I'm doing, you know, just syndication. I can, I can control, you know, um, when I want to end the show, basically, mm. unless it's really bad. But, um, but yeah, I thought there was something. Uh... You cut out, Sean. We may have lost Sean. So I think that JJ is now taking over this feed. And oh my God, <laughs> that is what's happening. They're trying. They're trying to stop us. <laughs> one, 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 one person. Oh, he's back. You back, Sean? Am I back? Okay. Yeah, You're I back. can see you guys. But anyway, oh. yeah, I, I think yeah. What I what I was saying was, I think if you want to make Star Trek, you have to adhere to what Bad Robot wants. You can't just make your own thing. If you want to make something traditional with new characters and a, a new concept, you can't do that. Mm. Um, and so CBS is trying to sell Star Trek. 
Um, well, and uh, well, that was the rumor they were trying to sell it. So it might it might be it might be true. And the thing is, is that like yeah, it's, there's definitely something going on because you know they have to change the Klingons a little bit. There's all these little mm. things that they had to do. <clears throat> and I don't care if you're going to change. You know, okay, well they're gonna the, the ship will look slightly different or the, the thing, but it's it, the, the stories are crap. Like yeah, yeah. You, you didn't you didn't make it like the uniforms for Star Trek changed. After the classic series, the first film had different uniforms. Two through six had different uniforms. Obviously, Next Gen had different uniforms. And then even Deep Space Nine had different uniforms. And then even Deep Space Nine changed the uniforms. And Deep Space Nine introduced new ships, right? The Defiant and stuff like that. Voyager, Voyager had a new ship. So you can have these different looking kinds of ships. It, it wasn't, I can tell you that's Voyager, that's the Enterprise, that's, Enter, that's the classic Enterprise, that's D, whatever. So you can change stuff, but like you still have to have good stories and good characters. Yeah, and yeah. I, I Star mean, Trek was always a mix anyway. of. Uh, yeah, Star Trek was always a mix of like action, like there was action and adventure yeah. in Star Trek. Um, uh, a little bit of horror too. I mean, there's always mm -hmm. some godlike character or some sort of thing, and um, and always there's like at least one moral dilemma, and you had fun characters debating this, especially in the original series. It was Kirk. Spock, McCoy, you know, Spock, um, Spock would tell you the logical thing, whether or not it was right or wrong. Um, Kirk would have to weigh everything. McCoy would always uh, uh, go off half cocked. And I love his uh, um, rant in um, Star Trek II. Where it's like, you know, like, um, God made the world in seven days. Look out, here comes, comes Genesis. Genesis. You know, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we can do it in six hours. <laughs> yeah. It's like, but but that that's what made I mean if you think that that's dry that that you know uh, and and too serious you know debating um some some sort of moral implication for something you had fun characters doing it you know and, and um that's really the the key I think to Star Trek is is the action um at least one a uh, heavy idea or two um uh and some sort of intriguing characters as well it's like there's nothing like a Q anymore um I'm trying to think of like when the last time uh, a new intriguing alien was introduced, it, probably the Cardassians, um, uh, they, they were um, um, built upon in, in Deep Space Nine. Uh, Voyager, I can't really remember them really delving into any um, one alien. I think that's what I get the problem yeah, Voyager? but they, they didn't go into the culture and all that no. stuff like they did, like Klingons and stuff in 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 um in TNG because um it was the big news that like you know there's gonna be a Klingon on the ship. I remember that was on Entertainment Tonight. It was like, oh my gosh, there's a Klingon. But uh, they delved into um Klingons, uh, Ferengis um as well in Deep Space Nine. Deep Space um, they were Bajoran. delved into as well. Yeah, Cardassian, Bajoran, and Bajoran, and, yeah. and Ferengi are and and then later the Vorta. The Gem Hadar, which are so interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah. Also, the founders. So that's Odo's changeling people. Yeah, yeah. And those guys are just cool. Um, we were going to wrap this up in about five, but Sean, actually, you hit upon something, and I know Steve. We kind of like talked over you a little bit, but like, okay. I'm like, I'm like super. Okay, okay. Um, in order for you to have characters, three or four characters that talk about a problem from different perspectives and give their opinions on what they should do in this situation. You have to be a good writer and you have to understand yeah. all those situations. And unfortunately, and unfortunately yeah. that's not the, there was an episode of classic Star Trek where it's like Kirk, Spock, McCoy, Sulu, Scotty, and this other guy, a random character that they always had on episode talking about what they're going to do with the Romulans. Oh, that's the one you just watched. Yeah. Sarah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And Scotty is saying, well, captain, it's like, my, our ships, you know, the, 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 the weaponry can't, can't beat the Romulans. We can't target what we can't see. Oh, no, Sulu says we can't target what we can't see. Can't and see. Spock is like, he goes, if, 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 because of all, um, Romulans and Vulcans are connected, he's like, if the Romulans are going through the same evolution period that we're going through, they might be very aggressive. We should attack. And then McCoy's like, what? We could start a war. You know, everyone is giving their point of view based on the character of who they are and also, like, what their jobs are. And you need to have good writing. We, we're, gonna, we're, we're, we're running, we got about like five minutes left. But yeah, so this is the thing. You need to be a good writer to be able to understand all of these perspectives and those characters. Yeah. Well, there's no moral dilemmas. Like, what are the moral the dilemmas thing. in any of the new Star Trek, like nope. the movies, right? What were the moral dilemmas? There's no interesting topics. 
I mean, and that's something like I remember growing up with, not even Star Trek, like just like random movies, like A Few Good Men, Crimson Tide, like those had like really interesting where you could see both sides. There's no sides to see in any of these Star Trek. It's like, here's the good guys, here's the bad guys, yeah. go. Yeah. Yep. What was that show? Um, Let This Be Your Final Battleground. Yes. That was a crazy thing. That yeah, was a yeah, crazy yeah. episode. I just watched that. Uh, that was the one I just watched last weekend. <laughs> no, 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 no. I lied. I lied. Sorry, I didn't watch that one last weekend. I've seen it so many times. It's like, yeah, that, I've got the, the all of that. All right, yeah. so um, final thoughts, I guess, with Steve, was that your final thought? No, yeah, yeah there's that, no more. I mean, yeah. yeah. Sean? I just hope it comes back the way I remember it. Um, it was still a mainstream success. Um, Star Trek Next Generation was Sunday dinner for me. It was mm. like me and my parents would sit down and watch that, you know, and, and eat our meatloaf and stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> it's, it, it's, sad, it's sad that, like, it's come to this. from and, 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 and from Star Trek fans who've really kept stuff alive, the Star Trek fan was the original, like, fanboy, nerdy, yes. Trekkie. They're the original guys from mm. day one. And they kept stuff alive in the deadest of night, man. They're like, you know, like, it's like, Star Trek sucks. You're a loser. You're a nerd. It's like, fuck you, man. Star Trek. I'll, uh, you know, I don't care. You know? <laughs> and it's yeah. like, they're dressing up and putting the stupid crap on their foreheads. And it's like, look at those losers. Oh, they're losers. It's yeah, like, screw you. I don't give a shit. Um, uh, internet um, fan sites. Fan yeah. sites. Um, it used to be that the old saying was uh, the internet was born on on um, porn and Star Trek. Yes, <laughs> yes. It, was born on, it was Star Trek site. Yeah, <laughs> yes. I remember those days too. But yeah, okay. what the porn? <laughs> well, yes, yeah, the porn. That's Star Trek porn. Star, the Star, <laughs> that would have yeah. <laughs> this is Star Trek porn. That'll probably get more views than the Lower Decks. Oh my God, Lower Decks, a whole new spin on it. All the What's going on in the Lower Decks? Android. Yeah. But yeah, it's, like, there were tons of Star Trek sites, and that was the first fan sites, you know? No, first I know. Conventions. They, yeah, first they, fanzines. They still, they, they still, fanzines, yeah, they, and they keep it alive. Star Trek conventions were like the first of the nerd conventions. Yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah. those were the big ones, you know? And then Star Wars and this stuff came about later. The, the, the thing is, I feel that the Star Trek, I'm going to wrap it up. I think that I feel that the Star Trek guys who still love Picard and Discovery, I think that they love Star Trek so deeply, they mm. don't want it to go away. And, and, and they're looking, they're like, oh, he, you know, Data's in that scene. Oh, Data. And, and that's all they're seeing. Mm. I'm seeing that a lot from the Doctor Who fan community as well, where just, oh, a new sonic screwdriver. Like, they've lost themselves so much, and I can't do it. Like, I can do it for maybe a movie or something. Like, you know, a Conan movie, which I love Conan. It, it, maybe the Conan movie wasn't as good, but I'm like, yeah, but it's Conan. He's fighting guys. That's cool. I can't do it with something that was so great like Star Trek, where it's like, this was like a masterpiece of, of, of entertainment and it's just become crap. It's hard mm. for me to pretend that glimpses of it are okay. So I can kind of do it with Star Wars. I love Star Wars enough to be like, yeah, you know, there's lightsabers. That's cool. They fought. That's neat. You know? I don't know, Star Trek, it's tough, man, because it was so good and so high quality, and it was a different mm. kind of a thing, too, and it's just been turned to poop, but anyway. All right, guys, uh, anything else? We still have uh, we, oh, we still have five minutes, according to this thing, so. We've had five minutes for ten minutes. I know, because <laughs> I, was counting on, I was counting on my thing, but uh, I, I, a little thing popped up. I don't know. It popped up saying you got five minutes. So any other final, final thoughts, or are we good? I'm good. I'm good, yeah. I'm good for today, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It's sad, but it is what it is. Hopefully, it'll come back. We'll see what happens with this new, strange new worlds. Um, and I guess see what, what, what will happen. But all right, guys, thanks so much for watching and live long and prosper. Take care.